Hello, hello, welcome back to another beautiful day here on Ark Fjorder, and as you can see, we've got some work to do. So let's get to it. Last episode, I went over the, the how uh, I do what I do around here when it comes to uh, breeding up armies. This time we're gonna go, in keeping with that theme, I'm gonna do more of the, like, actual resource gathering. Now, the reason I need to do this is that there's a lot of uh, saddles and saddle parts that I'm gonna need to make. And to do that, there are three resources that are really gonna be a big problem for me. Hide, wood, and metal. Now, I do have quite a bit of all of these things, but nowhere near enough for the amount of saddles I will need that will then, some of which will then need upgrading for the, um, hmm. Oh, that's the wrong button. For the uh, Savage Acro boss fight. So, I have a lot of work to do. Am I going to do all of it on camera? Absolutely not. <laughs> There's just no way. Also, I'm not feeling all that great right now. Hopefully, I'm not coming down with something, but, you know. Uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to do some of this, but we're going to mostly focus on, as I said, those three things. Um... I've already done resource gathering once before, and we're, but we're only going to do it again just because this is sort of the prep into the boss fight. Now, I don't know if the boss fight will be next episode. That depends on how much time I have to finish preparations. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and let you guys know uh, exactly what's coming. I genuinely don't know. We might be able to do another quick taming video of some kind instead. It, it, it all depends, because I do have... Um, you know, some, some of the stuff I'm doing comes to a head on Monday, so it really depends on the productivity between now and then. And my cat is meowing, so I will, uh, let, let me go fix that problem. Okay, we're back and ready to continue. By the way, if you enjoy this video, do me a solid. Hit that, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. Okay, let's, uh, let's kill this guy. Sorry, buddy, I need your hide in. Also, the meat doesn't hurt. See, this is the card on a sword saddle is one of those things that I'm definitely gonna have to, um, definitely gonna have to, uh, upgrade, because I only have a single primitive card on a sword saddle, and that's definitely not gonna work. It's worth mentioning that, um, you're... The, the Savage Acro is at least somewhat designed with the idea that if you use Arc Edition's creatures to fight it, you're going to do so with Primitive Saddles because you can't get, unless you change the, uh, I forget how you do it, but unless you change the, the game's, uh, like the loot drops from the, uh, yeah, well, from the loot drops that spawn in, you're never going to, uh, you're never going to be able to get better saddles or better saddle blueprints. So... I don't, I, that's not to say it isn't, okay, let me, ref, let me figure out how I want to phrase this. It's, it's not that the boss isn't going to be hard with good saddles, because it 110% will. I've, I've watched people fight these things with, uh, with like a full army of tech rexes that had really good saddles on them, and they still got absolutely shred. But, it, but the point is, any advantage we can get, uh, every little bit helps. It's also, I might as well take a moment to just talk about the boss while we're here murdering things for their hide. Uh, you can see I'm getting a fair amount. Uh, there are there are absolutely more efficient ways to do this. Like, I think a chainsaw would probably help in this situation. Or a more, or a better hide-gathering creature. But I'm doing this because this is the fun way to do it. <laughs> if I'm gonna have to do this stuff on camera, I might as well enjoy myself while I'm doing it, you know? Uh, and there are other things that we will need when when crafting the saddle, but this is the three the three resources. Bleh, three oh my god, the three resources I wanted to focus on today are these uh, are these three wood, hide, and um, like metal. We're starting out with hide, obviously. But uh, oop, did I not harvest this guy? No, I did not. Or maybe I didn't even kill him. Nothing personal, y'all. God, this thing is just an absolute machine. But yeah, Savage Acro. I, if I've mentioned it before, I'm gonna mention it again. 
The Savage Acro's design philosophy works. Okay, that is not. That is a low level uni unicorn, and therefore I'm not going to tame it. My apologies. But, um. The Savage Acro is. has the design philosophy to go against what is normal for an arc boss. So if you try and just throw creatures at the problem and uh, let them do. let them deal with it. I mean, yeah, it, it can work, but you're likely to get them shredded. I think what this boss is designed to do, is what all bo good bosses should be designed to do, which is uh, test your, force you to use the game's actual mechanics, i.e. certain whistle commands, in order to deal with situations on top of having good creatures to handle it. It's like, that doesn't mean there's any well, right or a wrong way to deal with the boss, it just means that there's a certain idea that went into this boss, and, um... That I think, and I think Wildcard absolutely should have thought that through before um, they made any of their bosses, because some of them really don't uh, align, like, especially the first four bosses, don't really do the job that well. Okay, Overseer does, but, and even to an extent the Dragon, but it isn't really until you get to Aberration that you start to see bosses popping up that actually that actually feel like a test of you of, of the things the game is supposed to have taught you up to this point as opposed to all right rex is go in and kill it i'm just gonna sit here and deal with it and and to be fair that is very much a similar idea to what i'm going to do against the savage acro but not mindless i'm not gonna sit back and let them do all the work i'm going to be trying to you know keep that keep a watch on the boss and see what it's doing and anticipate those attacks as because it, it gives you warnings on the screen when it, when it when it does certain things and the whole reason why it does that is that since you can't always be expected to notice tells from however far you are away um so that you know it's coming and you can take action against it it's not just saying that because yeah well the boss is about to do something crazy it's telling you for a reason, so that you have time, hopefully, to react on some level. I hope that Wildcard will actually look at the Savage Act, though, uh, when, when making bosses for our two, and, and maybe even draw inspiration from things like Elden Ring, where the boss fights are, as a, as a general rule, really good because of the fact that they test you on the game's mechanics and force you to get creative with it. Okay. We're racking up... Oh my god, we are racking up a lot of weight, first of all, but also a lot of hide. Yeah, toughened hide because of... I think this is Kraken's Better Dinos also counts, by the way. You can not You can use that in place of normal hide. Okay. About 14k here. That's not going to be enough, but it's a good start. Okay, I'm going to head back to base and drop all this off, and then we're going to head out for our next resource, which, as you can see, we've got no shortage of that. The reason why it's one of the ones that I have to be careful of is because we're going to need a lot more. Oops. Alrighty, we're back once again. Uh, let's get right to it. Got our bracky here. Let's get some wood. Oh, that's a fairy over there. Alright. I do have it set to wood harvesting mode. If you didn't know, Brachiosaurus, you can swap the thing, but the resources that it focuses on harvesting by pressing R. I completely forgot about that until someone told me after I had tamed it. <laughs> Thank you to that person. But you can see we're already getting a lot of wood, and that's good because I desperately needed some. Not anywhere near as much as I need metal, apparently, as I'm actually... I still have a lot of metal ingots, but I'm actually out of uh, metal ore like unrefined metal i didn't realize that i thought i still had a, few, a bit left but uh, i do not
Gotta love Brackies. They can carry so much extra weight. Yep, look at that. We got an extra, we got 4,200 on the way, and I've already got uh, 13,000 wood. Is that enough? Probably not. <laughs> For such a big creature, the Brachiosaurus really isn't that slow. It is, it, like, it is slow compared overall, but... Get out of here. Have 14,000 damage, Trodon. <laughs> Check the mod page for that. Yeah, look at all that. Wood. Look at all that juicy wood. Although I think at this point, uh, probably getting to the point where I don't need to keep harvesting it. We've got uh, 22k wood. That's actually probably not going to be enough, all things considered. But it's enough for the moment. After I just uh, get get these last few trees over here. This is overkill. Ah, oh, you stunned what? Get out of here. I get to figure out the logistics of getting home, of getting this big thing home. I've gotten it, I've gotten it down there before, just not for a while. I might do the old falling trick, I think. That trick being where you, um, I've said it before, you dismount from the dinosaur right when you hit the ground so that neither of you takes damage. You know, the thing I didn't do there because I fell like 10 feet and that really shouldn't have hurt the Bracky that badly. People always assume that a big creature like this, you know, if it takes a misstep, it's just going to immediately break its leg. And yeah, it, it could, but these things, these animals don't get to be this big without being quite sturdy. So I find it a little hard to believe that they would immediately sustain a life-threatening injury from just taking a simple misstep down a relatively small ledge. <laughs> you know? Like... It's like the animals know what they're doing, and they, uh, if they can tank a hit from an- yeah, see right there? That looked like the kind of ball that would have done some real damage. It's true that the more a creature weighs, the more gravity affects it, and therefore the more pain harm it sustains from a ball, but, you know, again, you do not get to get to be this large without uh, being able to sustain, um, some pretty hefty punishment, since by default you're already fighting against gravity of this size anyway. Uh-oh. I 
really want a wild bracky just wander into my base and get smoked by, by the Volanosaurus. Uh, either that or it's gonna kill them. <laughs> okay, can I carry all this? Absolutely not. Okay, we're gonna have to do this one at a time. So I will see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, here we go. We found some metal. I mean, oh my god. By some metal, I mean a lot of metal. Here, I'm gonna put coordinates up here. Cause so if, uh, so let's grab that. So feel free to pause the video as necessary. Uh, right here, here's the coordinates. Yeah, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is where we have to do this. Originally, I was going to fly over to the um, that island right over there, Vardaland, and uh, we were going to um, we were going to go inside the mines, which I still could do. I'm just not going to do it right now. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to put this guy, put the put Cami away, and we are going to switch to an old friend that I haven't used in a while. Uh, all right, well, all right, we'll just figure the situation out here. Okay, we got my RG. What? My RG and my Anki, and I think... I think it goes without saying the combo we're about to we're about to hit up right now. God, I haven't used these two in a hot minute. <laughs> all into weight, and we're just gonna transplant all of that into her into his inventory. And thanks to the Kraken's Better Dinos mod, the Anki will it what the Yankee will, in fact, swing its tail on its own at rocks, so. Oh, or I could just drop them and let him do it. Man, I haven't flown an RG in a while. I forgot they're not very maneuverable. <laughs> trying to take a thumb hey 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 I love how picking up a creature has a cooldown for some reason There we go. That should do it, at least for screenshots. You look at all these metal nodes here. Just absolutely brimming with metal. Now, there are probably better places to get it, but, you know, we're not going to worry about that. This is probably going to be plenty for what I need. What's funny is this place is pretty close to my house, and I think I eat... I... No, I definitely before I think I just forgot it existed. It's been so long since I've actually needed to do a metal run, honestly. The last time I did it, I did it with the idea that I wouldn't be needing it again. And then I uh, realized we were going to have to fight the Savage Acrocanthosaurus, and I want as good sa as good a saddles as I can afford to make. The only problem with this strategy is that even though the mod allows this thing to start swinging its tail on its own, it'll hit any rock that's near it, including just regular ones. Oh, there goes Charlie again. All right. Hold on. Now he wants out. Okay, let Charlie out. Now let's uh, hopefully finish this off. Might be able to get some more somewhere. How much we're gonna? How much more we're really gonna need, though? Probably a lot. 
I also know that I will have to get some cementing paste, but that's pretty easy to do. I my the chemistry bench will just pay, basically I feed it chitin and stone, and it will feed me uh, much more cementing paste than I put in than uh, the material that I put in. Hey, what? Damn bugs! What? Swing! These things are there. Yeah, I'm so used to using the uh, Desmodus that I forget that I forgot that the RG isn't very maneuverable. I'll drop these. Some extra stone wouldn't go amiss. I definitely don't need more flint though. And I'll probably take the Dodicarus out for this. I also could use my Tech Anki that we picked up, but yeah, I forgot to grab that. So we've got uh, Iron Age, and like I said, I can. I'm definitely going to be doing more of this off camera as we prepare. And that's sort of what's got me a little bit, bit, like, initially I was thinking, oh, after this episode we'll go fight the Savage Jacker, and now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that yet. Uh, even with the breeding, uh, with, like, the breeding and mutations actually getting pretty close to being done on most of my creatures that I'm doing it on, I'm still, I'm still a little concerned. Overall, ugh. Man, I was sitting in my chair in a very awkward way. I hope that didn't affect the way my mic picked up my voice. It probably did, though. So I've just adjusted my position, so we should be okay. Just smack those metal nodes. You can see we got a lot of metal now. We got about, uh, what is that, 10k or 20k or something like that? Some ridiculous number. But that will translate only to about half of, um... There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's check my supplies. Yeah, we got near 20k of metal so that should probably do it at least for now see i'm kind of going to go through this in a case by case basis it's like when i see that we need more i'll make i'll go get more but uh when you've got this much it doesn't really do me any favors to bring back more even though i can absolutely carry more the beauty of this strategy uh, I'm, as I'm sure a lot of people know, but just in case you don't, the reason why you don't just want to take your Anki is, first of all, the RG can still fly, so it's faster. Secondly, uh, the RG's carry weight is very high. And thirdly, the Anki, uh, carrying the Anki allows you to benefit from the Anki's um, weight reduction on metal without having to uh, actually be on the Anki. So it still helps you. A little bit... A little bit sus, if I'm saying so myself, but I'm going to use it to my advantage. <laughs> Why not? We got to tap a jar up there. Oh, boy. But yeah, like I said, it's going to be a pretty quick episode today. Definitely. I was wondering what I could do. I know I meant to resource gather. I'm like, how long do I want this to be? And I'm like... I don't think I have it in me to do a, a big long episode dedicated to this. You can see we got the car car right down there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think yeah, because he's still because he's still she's still carrying some meat, so gotta worry about that. And again, I will let you guys know for what we're what we're exactly going to be doing in um, 
in the coming next couple of episodes. Definitely within the next three, we should be able to fight the Savage Acro, but I'm just uh, a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, reticent to go fight him at this point in time, given the, given the aforementioned issues. But yeah, I'm gonna go cook up this metal, but uh, that is going to do it for today's episode. Once again, if you enjoyed it, please do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Whoa, 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 what the hell? What's going on here? Guys? Guys? Whoa! Uh... What? Okay. Well, my Velanosaurs are riled up at something, but I can't see it. Oh. oh, there we go. Shots fired, shots fired. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's enough for today. So um, once again, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. This has been TBT. Oh, there. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You're shooting a wall. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On that note, I'm watching a parasaur get just obliterated by wolves. This has been TBT signing out. <laughs>